and, and you get you know what we've got is we know what I say you guys know that what we've got even though Jeremy keeps asking for samples of it you guys know that I that there was a lot of a lot of shit covered up for, in Joe's right. trial and by the feds, by the feds <clears throat> you know and do you think Matt Ryan should be scared or concerned I would be if I was him because <laughs> He's the one that we recorded the most. I mean, he yeah. he was he was buddying up to us with so much information and telling us that. and telling us everything that he probably shouldn't have told us and collecting souvenirs, you know, throughout the whole thing. So, what do you what do you mean by souvenirs? Well, he just he there was a particular somebody in the in the case that was. A big Joe Exotic collector. So Matt was collecting all kinds of souvenirs for this person, and from the very beginning, <clears throat> which what does just that mean, big Joe Exotic collector. I, don't, I still don't quite understand what you're saying. Well, one of the one of the people that was after him was also um, one of his. I don't know. I don't know exactly what to call him. Yeah, I, I don't know. You know. It, it, just became very, very obvious that this person had a vendetta. Had a vendetta or targeted Joe for a long, long time prior to 2008 or 2018. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Not another cat person. What? It was that another cat person, or was that? No, just... no, no, no. It was one of the federal prosecutors. Oh. oh okay. Um, well. It's not, funny, that, it's, not that that in and of itself is I mean, anything. Matt Bryan reached out to me a few times over the last six months, and he did seem worried about, yeah. I guess, you leaked things or suggested you might have information. He just definitely felt worried. Um, okay, but you yeah. never told me specifically <laughs> what you have. I know. I had to save something, you know. So yeah. I, I had to protect myself. And right. Lauren and I probably have, what, 20 hours? Yeah, probably. probably 20 hours of recordings and miles and miles of text Bryant messages. And other government officials? Probably 19 of Matt Bryant. And, gotcha. and an hour of the other FBI, FBI and, other federal agents. and other federal agents that came here from, from Fish and Game. U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Yeah, yeah, U.S. Fish and Wildlife. Well, it's still a federal agent. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think any of it, though, Jeff, is substantial enough to change the results of Joe's situation? I mean, or do you think it's more stuff that might just get someone like Matt Bryan in trouble? Or do you think it actually is something that would, you, should you ask know, Matt pre Bryan actually about free Joe? Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm not an yeah. attorney, so I don't know what what that yeah. bar is. But I can tell you that. You know, for the first time, I got to read that that trial transcript. Right. And he, they let they the government absolutely let two two people sit up there and completely, completely lie about the way what? things transpired. And At least three. Well, I'm not saying three people. Absolutely. You mean on the stand. Yeah, on the stand. And I'm thinking one of those might be Alan Glover. Um, no, Alan. Alan actually, I, I think, was very, pretty precise with the truth. You know, okay. um, so but you know, uh, it, one might be John Finley. Um, John was pretty accurate. One was okay. definitely one was definitely James Garrison. Let's put it that way. Oh, uh, okay, interesting. Okay. And what they knew about James Garrison and let him lie about on that stand. And that's just one of them. And that's that's new. I mean, I didn't even know about that until I just read the... Because I wasn't going to pay $1,500 for that trial transcript. And John Phillips, John Phillips posted it on his website. And I just tortured myself by reading it. <clears throat> and I was like, holy shit. Matt Bryan is sitting in that stand right now in that audience. Allowing James Garrison to completely bury the truth. And because Matt and I discussed the truth just prior to that trial, and I gave him every bit of information. What? Just tell me. I mean, listen, I'm not I'm not recording you. I'm not doing anything. But what is it that James Kurtz lied about the most? <laughs> um, I 
I mean, listen, I know he lied about why he was doing this in the first place. You know, I know the government had, you know, obviously could have charged James for, you know, the lemur, the ringtail lemur. He could have charged them maybe for credit card stuff. I mean, I, he didn't do it just because he's a nice guy. But what, what was it that he said that was the biggest in your eyes sort of, you know, lie? <clears throat> um, it definitely wasn't over the lemur. They don't. Get no, no, of course, of course, of course. So he sat there and completely, completely lied about all that credit card stuff. Oh and sure. I've got all the evidence of his credit card fraud. Yeah. And when he yes. sat there and said, "No, no, I, I thought that was going to be paid," and I, you know, yeah, I. I no, no, I know, I know he lied about that, and I know. But what's that really have to do with Joe? It's more he was getting. It's people called. It's well. It, it's it's, it's with credit cards. All that shit. It's the Brady Act. You can't use. You you can't you can't withhold exculpatory or or evidence that's that could possibly be beneficial or that could that could impugn the testimony of your witnesses. You can't, I mean, that's, that's the Brady Act is, is grounds for a reversal of a conviction. And that's not, and what, and like I said, James doing that was, I only learned about that in the last two months. What we have. Wait, how did you only know about that in the last two months? I knew about that, the, the credit card fraud. I knew about the credit card fraud. I, I know probably is, is better than anyone but James because he described it to me to a T. And yeah. I looked, I, I was trying to figure out how he was doing it. But. Right. But I only learned about the lies. He would get fake social security numbers from people, like or or real people that weren't like he did this weird thing. I'm trying to remember what he used to do. He told me one time. No. Um, I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, it's but in the fact that the defense didn't know that information. You're saying no, no. I'm saying that I didn't. I only learned of of his that they sat there and allowed him to lie. When okay, you got you got James Garrison, who is the government's key witness and the government's informant, and when he's questioned about his credit card activity, on he sits there and completely lies about it, and Matt Bryant allows that to happen. So how would that not have impugned his credibility to the to the jury? Yeah. To know that he was a, a, a credit card a credit card scammer who was being given a pass by the federal government in exchange for his testimony. Right, right. Well, I mean, the one thing we know is James is really good at lying. You know? We all can lie, but James is a, is probably one of the best. Pretty, that's what he does every day. Yeah, he's a con man, and um, you know, I I was always good at. Smoke and mirrors, but you know James is just a master con man, liar, thief, and you know selling stolen cars to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in credit card fraud. He's a criminal, and and you know for for them to sit and allow that criminal to lie on the stand during Joe's trial when the jury has to evaluate. Do we give this guy credibility? You know, is this guy honest? Just like James Garrison said that they only recorded me twice because his because his machine or whatever recording device he was using wasn't wasn't um, working. That's complete total bullshit. He called me every single day and told me what was going on and told me he was supposed to be recording me, but he was. He said he wasn't. So. You know, he apparently that was true. He was calling me every day from another phone, not the phone that the government had given him to make these calls with. He was calling me and telling me, "Don't come to Buford. I mean, don't come. Don't come to. Don't come back to to Oklahoma. Don't. You know, you stay the hell out there. This is about to go down. And here's, you know, they sent they sent Finley for a fake ID. I mean, he. We have him recorded. You know, I got. I've got lots and lots and and. That's not even the best stuff. I mean, the best stuff is where we were told bold or flat out, do not share this with Joe's attorneys. Don't bring this up. Don't text anything about this to us. If you want to talk about this, you need to call us. Don't text this. And then we find out that the information we were told not to text about was not given to Joe's attorneys. So, uh, interesting. Um, 
I mean, you know what? There's just there's there's you see you see these trials overturned all the time on on corruption of prosecutors and and I if if this if this shit that we have isn't good enough to to at least bring that into question, I you know I I don't necessarily want Joe out, <clears throat> but I also don't want to be fucked with by the DOJ. So I sent Matt. <laughs> I sent Matt a text about, I don't know, two months ago, before the Dr. Oz show, after the DOJ was fucking with me, Matt quit answering. Sarah, Hi. Matt quit answering our text messages. And I said, well, that means that Matt's been told to stop talking to us. So I texted him a message. I said, I'm sorry for what I'm about to release, but you guys brought it upon yourself. Never got an answer. Yeah, I think he's nervous. Well, he, uh, I, he ought to be. I got that feeling. Well, you know, that that tells you right there. He knows. He knows shit went down that wasn't supposed to go down. Yeah. And what, what do you think? You give me a sense of what that could have been that went down that, that he did that, you know, that was inappropriate or that was... We would go to him with information and he would tell me not to, not to discuss it. Don't bring it up anymore. I don't want to hear it. Don't text that. And we, you know, and that's recorded. But like what kind of information? What was he worried about? That would maybe evidence the evidence that prove witnesses were being coached and lied, and and, and they were. It, it's really involved on one of them, but it's you know I, I I'm not sure. It's like I said, I can't I can't assure Joe or or, or John. But was it witnesses that never had a chance to testify, or witnesses that did testify? Witnesses that did. That did. Yeah. Can you give me a name? No. I'd rather not. Okay. Okay, well, let, let me just say this then. As I, 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 I wanted to thank you for everything you did over the last few days. Um, but also, um, if you are ready at some point to share the information that you have, I'm just sort of thinking out loud. It might make for a really good final episode like, if we come out with what, you know, we're doing a story <coughs> on, you know, the Carol Don Lewis stuff, we're doing, you know, some stuff on the doc and all that stuff, and, and sort of, the, you know, what, what ended up happening with Tim and you a little bit, but, you know, and a, bit, and a little bit on Joe, because not a lot to do on Joe, but, but if we get this out there at some point, you know, let's say at the end of the year, but if you... There could be like this sort of like final episode after that. And maybe that final episode involves what you're talking to me about right now. And if you actually have all that information um, and we can buy that content from you, um, you know, I think there's no value in that. I know, but you guys just don't pay enough. <laughs>